was so photogenic all my life i've been a go get up wake up in the morning kiss my son then go go get it top floor top dog like i just signed a tde huh. gang, gang, gang 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 no we all gotta eat gang, gang. Up late, bills do rent do I ain't been asleep. Woo. Looking in the mirror, all I see is everything that I wanted to be. Me. My city depended on me. <laughs> That's on G-O-D. Uh. Grew up watching my mom become what daddy couldn't be. Yeah. Hot ball like MLB. These Bottega boots ain't cheap. My car ain't got no key. I push the start to start my week. I'm in this photo poor, so photogenic. Uh. All I know is to go, go get it. Shoot my shot, now I ain't gon' miss it. All I know is to go, go get it. All my life, I've been a go get up. All I know is to go, go get it. Wait up in the morning, kiss my son, then go, go get it. Go, go get it. Go, go get it. Photo poor, so photogenic. All my life, I've been a go get up. Wake up in the morning, kiss my son, then go, go get it. Photo poor, so photogenic. All I know is to go, go get it. Shoot my shot, now I ain't gon' miss it. All I know is to go, go get it. All my life, I've been a go get up. All I know is to go, go get it. Wake up in the morning, kiss my son, then go, go get it. Go, go get it. Go, go get it. Photo poor, so photogenic. All my life, I've been a go get up. Wake up in the morning, kiss my son, then go, go get it. Another one, we got another one. It's her. Who that? Big baby slide through in that drop top. Something about Ben's looking cute. That's honest. Her and her friends, big blinks and snatch waist. Yeah, she brought the. Ain't no way somebody daddy ain't gonna give her the spins with her ends. Cause yeah, she did it, but she did it again. A few more tracks, and this time she bought friends. Big baby on her way. You gotta choose. You like the top or you just like the lose. Make a move. Then at the bottom, I got the boom. You gotta choose. You like the top or you just like the lose. Make a move. Then at the bottom, I got the boom. You gotta choose. Yeah, I jump out the booth. Then I might hop through the roof. Count on the rings. Uh, my team is the truth. But they some lies to you. And they never sing, huh? But they always shoot. And all of their diamonds are new. And that's why I'm here with Villain. Cause I really get it. And I need all my honeys in blue. You gotta choose. Top of you just like to lose. Make a move. Been at the bottom, I got the boom. You gotta choose. Make a choice. I need a hundred tap for my boys. Did be hating and talking and talking and hating. I bet you I kill the noise. I've been a man like I'm painting. I boost up my rating. You know how I play with toys. Pop out on any occasion. Get standing ovations. They can't help it but rejoice. They all wanna follow me. Cause I got my foot on the opposition neck and ain't no apologies. Honey, y'all, you know I own all the property. Daddy told me, you know I own all the property. You gotta choose. You like the top of you just like the lose. Make a move. Been at the bottom, I got the boom. You gotta choose. You like the top of you just like the lose. Make a move. Been at the bottom, I got the boom. You gotta choose. You like the top of you just like the lose. Make a move. Been at the bottom, I got the boom. You gotta choose. 
come to bed, come to bed, and I got it, and I got it on my own. Get my way up, get my way up, get my way up. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all.
Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And we are underway from Ford Field. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. Just like that, it's a gain of 12 and a first down on their first play. Well, there you go. This offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. First down, and it's Pollard again. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. On second down, it's Pollard. Oh, and that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. 10 yards there, good enough for a Texan first down. Gonna run again here with Pollard. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. A give to the game's all-time leader, Emmett Smith. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. They'll try to run for it with Emmett. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the seventh. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Smith try to run for it, and he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Emmett Smith taking it in from seven yards away. And the Texans get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Tucker with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. They'll throw on first down with Griffin. Flush to his right. Does the big boy have the juice? He's at the 40. And they'll work this down inside the 30. We know he's got the arm, but watch out for those wheels. Kind of harkens back to guys they used to call the scrambler and the dodger. This guy can make it work with his legs. Field opened up. He took advantage. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Play action. It's Griffin. Touchdown, Packers. Randy Moss. 29 yards, and the Packers are able to strike back quickly with an opening touchdown of their own. 
Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments to prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. Heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And some room to work. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 65 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first down. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Here's Pollard again. Oh, with a juke. And down to the 36-yard line here. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. That is throw is incomplete. Well, congratulations to them. They come through defensively with another stop. And let's face it, this secondary... They've gone unchallenged so far in the first half. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Prescott from the gun. And he hits Jason Witten, the tight end. Yeah, this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. Prescott to throw on fourth. And this is caught by Witten, the tight end. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Give them 11 on the game there. And the Texans are going to have a first. It'll be a handoff to Pollard. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Pollard going to try the right side. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package, and that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. On third down, it's Prescott. Flushed out right. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. this on first and goal and he fights his way into the end zone for a Texans touchdown Harold Carmichael an eight yard touchdown run and the Texans have taken the lead Tucker with the extra point and that makes the score 14 to 7 
Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Here comes Devin Hester bringing it out. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Throwing on second and long, Griffin. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Out to his left. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. He's got a man complete. And he's going to be forced out of bounds inside the five-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. We see this happen so often. If you're a defender, it's like watching a bad movie over and over. The pressure is good, forcing the quarterback out of the pocket. But it's a lot to ask for these defenders to stay plastered to receivers long enough. And sure enough, they let a man come open, and the connection leads to a big play. To throw is RG3. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there is no space available and incompletion as a result. Line of scrimmage, again, the four-yard line. Second and goal. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Green Bay touchdown. Christian Okoye. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Packers are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Tucker able to connect on the extra point. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. As they will take over here with a little more than 30 seconds remaining. The first play of the drive there is incomplete. But that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Oh, he's got some breathing room. There he goes right side. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Harold Carmichael as the first half is winding down. And the Texans have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Tucker with the extra point, and the lead is now 21-14. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Pulls it in at the 13. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The 
the Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. Off the play fake. Here's Griffin. He's going to loft one deep left side here. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. And the Texans are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 37. Final play of the half, Prescott. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that is incomplete. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And how about this right out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. This one's going to be covered up by the Packers' hands team. But gutsy call there. Yang's at the locker room with a lead. Tried the onside kick. It didn't work. And you just wonder what the gain was there. They're already in the lead. They were in control of the game. They may have given momentum now to their opponent and maybe kick-started things going in the opposite direction. Well, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. Derwin James with a pick. And the Texans are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. And that one is going to sting. First play of the third quarter and a turnover. And you have to know that at halftime, they spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. Turning it over like this was not on that list. Not at all. You, and you come out of the locker room trailing, so that first drive to establish momentum is very key. Crucial. On play action, Prescott. Open man, it's Jason Witten. They'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. Play fake. Here's Prescott. His throw caught right around the six. Touchdown, Texans. It's Prescott to Witten on the touchdown pass. And the Texans have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And would you believe it? This is caught in the end zone. And the fake extra point works to extend their lead by two. And now a timeout coming from the defensive side for the Packers. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. It's a squib kick fielded just inside the 20. And he returns this to the 22. After the interception, here's Griffin eluding the pressure right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. They go play action. Griffin on the move to his left. And incomplete on the deep ball. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. Forced out to his left. And a big loss here as he's taken down. That is Nick Bosa from out on the edge who worked his way in for the sack. Fourth down. Here's RG3. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. 
And the Texans are going to take possession of the football. Well, you think about it, though, that interception, great for his stats, but bad for field position. It was fourth down. Yeah, terrific observation. If there is going to be a silver lining, and this is what he'll plead when it comes time to watch it again, hey, it was just like a punt, right? So we end up taking possession of the ball. But you're exactly right about it. Should have slapped it down. Field position would be bad.
With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And we are underway here in London. This fielded right at the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. with a former Viking, Cordero Patterson. And not much doing there. Maybe a yard up to the 23. And not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Here's second and nine. Just a yard on that last run. They'll fake the give. Now gone. Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring him down. That's the Hall of Famer Lawrence Taylor doing what he does best. But just two plays in, and Charles already their first sack defensively. Yeah, how about that? That didn't take long, did it? And now they look at third down, and that's another time to try and go and get the quarterback, too. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Here's gone. So no sack. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it will still bring up a fourth down. But one of the things we talked about coming into this was we were never going to question a fight that he's going to have for all four quarters of a game. But ideally, you want him fighting for big plays and first downs early, not fighting just to get back to the line of scrimmage, as we saw right there. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. It's a 46-yard punt, two on the return, and it will be Vikings ball first and 10. Prescott off play action. Completes it to Jason Witten. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Love the play call that time. Love the design. You put three tight ends on the field. That screams jumbo set, running formation to a defense, right? No, they go play action, and defense gets confused for just a split second. And next thing you know, completion for good yardage. On a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. Now a give, and he fumbled it. It's on the ground. It's picked up by the Titans, and they will take over at the 29-yard line. Do you remember in preseason we were going to the different training camps and visiting teams, and we always would see the running backs working out and going through those gauntlet drills yep. and, you know, guys either slapping at the ball or the machines? you got to learn to take care of it. Yeah, they lost it there. Big fumble. The Titans' offense set to begin the drive. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys a little I bit don't jumpy. Do you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. Just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three now and out. have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. They're backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Throwing on third, golf. Got a man, it's Patterson complete. 
And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Oh, that's a big let off there on third down because you've got to count for the running back coming out of the backfield. They didn't, and they got burned, not just for a first down, but for big yardage as well. Now a first down throw, gone. Oh, and this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it, and it's second down. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. To throw on second and ten. Goff. The Vikings after him, and they get there for the sack. That's big Jordan Davis powering in to drop it. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Under pressure, and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. But Nick Bosa so quick on the outside, he gets in there to bring him down. No score after one on EA Sports. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. That'll go as a punt of 32 yards. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And they got across the 50 last time but fumbled and turned it over, so they'll be looking to have a short-term memory here, Mr. Davis. Not only a short-term memory, but a whole lot better ball security. <laughs> because if they take care of the ball, continue to move it, their chances of scoring some points, they've got to feel pretty good about. They thought they had things moving in the right direction last time. Fumbles, they don't just affect you on offense, they affect your overall team because now your defense has to make that stand up. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. Off the play fake, Prescott steps away. And he finds a man on the crossing round. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. They brought in a heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play, but we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two, and that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight, now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Buying time to his left. That is caught by Carmichael. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 16. Here's Pollard. And he'll go down here at the 12 yard line. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Here's Prescott rolling to his right. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. Touchdown! Tony Pollard, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Vikings post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Fielded right around the 8. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The 
the Titans offense set to begin the drive. And in a spot like this, still more than a minute, I think if you put something on the board before halftime, that would go a long way towards helping them get back into the game. There actually is something to the psychology of the game at times, isn't there? How much better would they feel running into the locker room, as you noted, with something on the board in a positive fashion? You're exactly right. It's a great opportunity to get that done. Back to the air. Goff on second down. Got a man. It's Brashawn Perriman. Finding room at midfield. They find some open field here. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That one good for 37 yards. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. On first and 10, Goff. Got a man. It's Darren Waller. And it's a Titans touchdown. Darren Waller. 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Titans are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. And oh, he missed it. No good. And they'll remain down by a point. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee get on out for the half a first down throw for Prescott and oh he caught it up but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead first down 18 yard gain To throw his press gun. Steps away to his left. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid game to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds the defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. As they say here in London, all to play for as we are back underway in the second half. Go, go, go. 
Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. Now Pollard. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up and run the darn ball, pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short, that's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school smash mouth football. Second down, here's Emmett again. And so we're to maneuver. 30, 20. Touchdown, Vikings. Emmett Smith, 65 yards. As his guys are able to extend their lead. I know I should keep the focus in the spotlight on the hero that just scored, but tackling's been an issue for this defense all game long. I can't set that aside. We just saw it again here. Missed tackles leads to his long touchdown run. Kevin O'Connell choosing to lead his guys out there, and they'll go for two. Prescott, they're going to throw for it. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Tough there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere. Seeing that play, focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. Throwing on second and long. Goff, he's airing it out for Williams. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. And the Vikings are going to take possession of the football. They set themselves behind the chains, trying to get it all back. In. 